One of the things that the National Assessment of Educational Progress does, you know, going back to the early 70s, it tracks kind of student scores. Uh, they've been pretty flat. And depending on how you calculate it, we're spending two to three times as much per pupil in real inflation adjusted terms. Is it just that kids are dumber now? that we have to spend more and more money on them to keep them at the same or slightly lower level than when you and I, Robert, were, you know, in short pants. Zach was not quite born yet. And his SATs, I guarantee you, are better than mine, probably yours, you know, but uh, no, but I mean, not, is, that, brag. Is, is it a, yeah, no, that's for sure. Is it, I mean, you know, it, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Like, are we, are we obsessing over education in a way? And I'm joking about kids just being dumber, but, you know, because education, you know, going back to Socrates, you know, educating the young is absolutely filled with existential anxiety of every society. And, sure. you know, so is all of this just kind of like, you know, we're, we're just, we got a lot of nervous energy and a lot of money to spend and a lot of time to argue. But, you know, actually, the kids are doing OK. Uh, I, I don't think the kids are doing OK. And I don't want to be alarmist about this. We, mm -hmm. Something we haven't even touched on is mental health. You know, and if right. you talk to John Haidt and Greg Lukianoff mm -hmm. and others, they'll say it's it's the screen yep. is stupid. And I think there's a compelling case for, for the deleterious effects of social media and technology and whatnot. You know, it's, so it, it's almost impossible to separate schools from all the other effects in kids' lives. Mm -hmm. um, do I think kids have gotten dumber no kids have not gotten dumber kids have gotten smarter um do i think we have gotten accidentally less good at educating them probably uh, and, it, and it probably has to do with some of the factors we talked about earlier nick about how there wasn't there didn't used to be a lot of question about what you did in school all day and the more sophisticated we've gotten yeah. in terms of trying to raise levels of you know problem solving and critical thinking we've actually got, made it worse not better you've got the issue of of who becomes a teacher um, you know, uh, nobody should want women to, 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 to leave law and medicine and whatnot mm -hmm. and go back into the classroom. But, but if you think about, I'll, I'll bet like you, like me, Nick, some of your teachers in retrospect were women who today would have been doing much more remunerative things than they did 40 or 50 mm -hmm. years ago. It, it's a Gordian knot, you know, I, I, I don't thinking know also, you, you know, the amount of environmental lead was so much higher, you know, and lead gets a bad rap, but I don't know when, you know, when we were chewing on lead paint and breathing in lead gasoline air fumes. I don't know. Yeah. We seem to be doing better as a, uh, as a society. Yeah. Look, the, the, the one, uh, this be my parting shot, I guess, but the, yeah. the, the, the one, if I, if, if I could make one change in American education now, it would probably be, and this gets to the idea of, is it getting, is, is, is it getting worse? I, I think what's changed is our expectations have gotten um, uh, outsized for American mm -hmm. education and most specifically, what I mean by that is we literally expect too much, uh, not of education, but of teachers. We keep asking them to do more and more. And at the same, and I, I, look, I mean, this is the, the, the last hill I'll die on in education. I, I point this out all the time. You've got 4 million American men and women um, in classrooms every day. If you have 4 million of anybody doing anything, by definition, you're going to have a, a normal range of human capacity in, in a number that large. No. So you've got to make that job doable by those people. The cavalry isn't coming. There are not enough saints and superstars to, 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 to fill all those classrooms. We've got to reconceive the job of, an, of, of teacher to be doable by men and women of ordinary sentience, because that's who we have and that's all we're ever going to have. So if the job can't be done well by those people, it, you, you, you don't have a plan. You, 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 it's a prayer. Hey, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason. If you liked what you saw there, please click on the link below in the show notes and watch our entire live stream with Robert Pondicio of AEI talking about school choices, promises, and perils. Every Thursday, Zach Weismuller and I do a live stream, a live unscripted conversation. Anything can happen. Anything can be said. They are always interesting with policymakers, book authors, people who are making a difference in the world. Hope to see you next Thursday.